This video is about how to make long data wide uh, by pivoting to be wider. And this is often needed if we have uh, software that is designed to work with wide data. And so we're working with this example that we started last time where we now have data on the plot or site where sampling has occurred the species being sampled, and then counts of the number of unique stems of trees above 1.6 meters in height. And often when we're analyzing these kind of data, we need to put it into a crosstab or wide format where we have one row for each site or plot, one column for each species, and then the values in that data frame are the counts that we're going to analyze. And to create that, we'll build on the pipeline we started last time, which started by uh, creating a single species ID column. And to do this widening, we use the pivot wider function. And so that's basically the opposite of the pivot longer function, which took wide data and made it long. Now pivot wider will take long data and make it wide. The first argument is the data frame, just like always for tidier functions, and that's being passed in through the pipe. And then uh, we need two required additional arguments. And those required arguments are names from, and that's gonna be where we put the name of the column that we wanna use for the column names in our wider table. So before we took column names and we put them into a column when we were pivoting longer, now we need a column to take and make into our column names. And so for us, that's the species ID column because we decided uh, that we were going to have uh, one column per species. And then we also have the values from argument. And that's the name of the column that we're going to get the values from. And so we want one column for each species ID, and then we want to fill in the values from this count column. And so uh, our values are going to come from count. And if we run this, we'll see that we now have uh, a cross tab table. We have our plots one row per plot uh, with the plot ID in the first column, and then one column per species. And the values in the cells are the counts of stems in that plot and species. So in plot ID BSP1, for the Akaksunu species, we have 20 stems. And so we can see that we've got this really wide table as a result because uh, it's one column per species. And where there weren't values in our table, where there weren't counts, uh, Tidier has automatically filled those in with NAs. And that might be what we want, but in this context, these are actually counts of zero, right? There are no stems. And so we may also want zeros in here. And we can do that with an optional argument to the pivot wider function. And that's the values fill argument, which basically says what value should we put in in the case of empty cells. And so the way that we do that is a little tricky because this can be more complicated than this per particular instance that we have. And so the way that we do it is we provide a named list. And so we're just gonna say list and then parentheses and then count is equal to zero. 
And so this is for an ins this is more complicated because we could have uh, multiple values from uh, in some contexts, and so we just are specifying it for the case where we're getting them from count here. And so now if we go back, we can see that we've got the same table that we have before, uh, but we have zeros filled in in place of NA. And now we could just grab this piece of our data frame and hand it off to any analysis code that needs this kind of cross-tabulated data. So that's how you go from long data to wide data when you need to. We use the pivot wider function. It takes uh, information on where to get the names from for the new columns that we're going to make and where to get the values from to fill in those columns and optionally we can specify a fill value for cases where we don't have a value in the data. Tidier, tidy data using tidier, 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 tighter. Oh. <sighs>